Is that an old video game console? Well, it looks like it's broken. M maybe you shouldn't touch it. Will the jungle's animals come to the real world in Jumanji 4? The mid credits scene in Jumanji, the next level, raises the possibility that the characters may have left the game and entered the real world. Though the plot of Jumanji 4 is still unknown, well, what do we know about Jumanji 4? The eagerly awaited fourth installment of the pulply jungle fantasy franchise, Jumanji 4 is supposedly in the works. Jumanji 4 will be the next part in the rebooted trilogy that began with Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle in 2017. The mid credits scene of Jumanji The Next Level, the previous film in the franchise, hinted at the possibility of further installments. The popular choice to go from a board and dice to virtual reality and video games in the Jumanji sequels is anticipated to be carried over in the fourth installment. Although Jumanji 4 is still in its very early phases of development, all indications indicate that Sony Pictures is eager to continue the Jumanji brand. As Jack Black, Karen Gillan, Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson are all slated to return due in large part to its stellar ensembles and enjoyable retelling of the 1990s classic Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle and Jumanji The Next Level both became box office successes. Both films successfully combined humor and action with real heart and their huge box office success guaranteed that Jumanji 4 would never be released. As the months pass with no noteworthy updates, one of the franchise's actors has provided an explanation for Jumanji 4's delays in the most recent news. Actress Karen Gillan of Ruby Roundhouse talked openly about the much anticipated movie and provided some important context for why Jumanji 4 hasn't come out yet. I'm sure it's tricky to wrangle everyone's schedules, but I haven't heard anything about it other than the fact that we will be doing it at some point. Gillen's comments are discouraging, but at least they verify the proposal is still on the table. Jumanji 4 is on the way, according to a number of cast and staff members from Jumanji The Next Level. The first person to allude to connections between the third and fourth films was Dwayne Johnson. In March 2020, Jake Hasdan continued to affirm that the film is still in development. Producer Hiram Garcia had stated in November 2022 that the film will start production shortly, but that information has since been disproven. Jumanji 4 has not been cancelled as of March 2024, but no progress has been made either. Why am I running so slow? Do you recall this epic dialogue by Dr. Bravestone? Do you believe that Bravestone and other characters from the first three Jumanji films will return for the fourth installment? According to Jake Kazdan, Jumanji 4's cast will include returning actors from the first two films. Among them are Jack Black as Professor Sheldon Oberon, Karen Gillan as Ruby Roundhouse, Kevin Hart as Franklin Finbar, and Dwayne Johnson as Dr. Xander Bravestone. Their younger heroes, Alex Wolfe as Spencer Gilpin, Sir Darius Blaine as Anthony Johnson, Madison Iceman as Bethany Walker, and Morgan Turner as Martha Capley, who became engrossed in the game, are also probably going to return. Until further information is given, other results are less assured. While some believe the characters will remain within the game, others believe they will leave the virtual world and enter the real one. What are your thoughts on the Jumanji 4 story? Story. Though the basic idea of the new film Jumanji 4 is simple to establish, there are currently no hints regarding plot details. Joe Johnson directed the first Jumanji film, which starred Robin Williams as Alan Parrish. After a poor role, Alan finds a strange looking board game and gets sucked into a dangerous jungle realm. By making Jumanji into a video game, Jack Kazdan's Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle updated this concept, as some of the jungle's creatures are released into the real world in Jumanji The Next Level. The mid credits scene serves as a clear setup for Jumanji 4. This final section is very intriguing, because if animals have managed to exit the game, then so may the characters. 
even the avatars. In Jumanji The Next Level, Dwayne Johnson hinted at his intentions for the franchise in the third film, saying that the antagonist Jürgen the Brutal was an avatar and that Jumanji 4 will expose the real villain behind him. When was the last time you saw Jumanji? Jumanji is the perfect comfort movie for a lot of us. No matter how antiquated the spectacular effects or pop cultural illusions become, the movie never fails to excite. Our perception of movies has been broadened by Jumanji, which has shown us that films can be enjoyable, escapist and meaningful, and if you're lucky, all three at once. Nothing can ever compare to the original Jumanji, even though time has flown by. 25 years have gone by in the span of a single glance, and the franchise has been expanding further by two eye-catching sequels. Inspired by the children's book of the same name by Chris Van Alsberg from 1981 and helmed by Joe Johnston, Jumanji narrates the tale of four individuals, adults Alan Parrish and Sarah Whittle, and younger siblings Judy and Peter Shepard. The four must complete a game that was started 26 years prior, in which various animals, plants, bugs, weather patterns, and one particularly nasty poacher emerge to wreak havoc on this small New England town. During its theatrical run, Jumanji earned over $100 million domestically and contributed to the respective early and epic careers of Williams and Dunst two of the biggest actors in the 1990s. The perfect example of a comfort film is Jumanji. Everything is still in good condition considering the price we purchased, save the fancy effects. James Horner's score is the ideal extra character that works extra hard to electrify every scene with excitement. The performances are still incredible, Johnston's direction is still hitting all the right notes, and the screenplay, which was written by Jonathan Hensley, Greg Taylor, and Jim Strain, is still tight but allows enough leeway to appeal to audiences of all ages. Many people believe that Jumanji's greatest achievement as a comfort film is that that even my many viewings, it never ceases to excite. Ultimately, Jumanji is the perfect comfort film because it never fails to inspire us to pursue our dreams of adventure. Whatever life throws at us, no matter how old we get, Jumanji promises a reassuring optimism in less than two hours. Its fundamental idea ensures that we will be moved, encouraged, and transformed. Jumanji serves as a gentle reminder that it's acceptable to cling to the broad, all-encompassing sense of amazement we once experienced about the world. Children still believe that the creatures in the Jumanji movie are real. However, the truth remains that Jumanji and the other films in the franchise established a gold standard for computer-generated imagery in the film industry. By 1995, CGI was widely used in Hollywood movies to help depict more complex stories. The success of digital effects in movies like Jurassic Park, The Mask, and Terminator 2 Judgment Day had propelled the industry forward in this manner. One of those movies that made full use of state-of-the-art computer-generated imagery in filmmaking, particularly from industrial light and magic, was Joe Johnston's Jumanji, starring Robin Williams as a young boy who gets lost in a magical jungle after playing a mysterious board game. CGI allowed ILM to depict living, breathing jungle animals. Despite the fact that digital effects were still in their infancy at the time, Johnston used a lot of real effects in Jumanji, such as miniatures created by ILM and life-size monsters created and performed by Amalgamated Dynamics Incorporated. The computer visual effects of Jumanji were very elaborate. One could witness a herd of rhinoceros charging through a home's hallway. A little hamlet would be invaded by a barrage of untamed animals, resulting in the famous scenario where an elephant flattened a car. It would require a lion to jump downstairs. Moreover, untamed primates would wreak havoc in the kitchen before operating a vehicle. Considering that several of the monsters had features that were hairy or feathery, a significant VFX difficulty at the time, Johnston was skeptical that any of these things would be achievable. The crew persevered in refining the technology to make it function, and in the end, it paid off handsomely. However, 
the initial tests on the lion's mane did not inspire confidence. The Jumanji material is really unsophisticated, even crude in spots, particularly compared to where CGI is now, with textures like hair and feathers and other minor skin surfaces. But audiences are forgiving, and they are immersed in the story which hopefully they were back then, leading to a path-breaking setup in the movies. Do you believe Jumanji 4 will be able to meet the high standards set by previous Jumanji films? Do share your thoughts on this in the comments section. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications. Until next time.